uh, change my title. I need to mute myself so you will not have getting an echo. Right, let's uh, try and arrange this so we're not seeing random stuff. There we go. Okay, we're here. Welcome, everyone. Why is uh, why is the chat box not fully showing? That's really weird. Okay, let's try and. Um, do this right. Ah, Jack is here as well. Hello. Hi there. You alright? Not bad. Why is it when I try and resize the chat box that it's still a square and I can't change oh, that? Okay, so if you. Um, if you go into like the properties of the chat box. You can. You have to resize yeah. it through that. Oh, okay. Rather um, than being able to resize it through. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, now it's gone completely invisible. Oh, there you go. That's actually working. My goodness, how did that happen? That is pure chance. <laughs> okay. Cool. Right, we're here. I've got boosters, and I'm ready to go. I've got some sleeves. I've got another bloody box here, haven't I? Okay, let's put that one, I don't know, over there. Who knows? Here we go. Right, I've got some top loaders, because I'm expecting to pull a Charizard. Oh yes. We've got some clear sleeves for the hollows that I don't care about. And we've got some coloured sleeves for the playable stuff. Okay. Right, let's crack into it. It's very disrespectful that you're playing Hearthstone Jack during a stream, but... Well... <laughs> are you Arena for the free pack, or are you... Yeah, uh, yeah. Arena for the free pack and free win. Alright, come on then. Bring on the Machamps, please no. Please no. You can at least mute Hearthstone. Bloody hell. Yeah, I don't know why it's not... Uh, I need it's to... It's not going through my headphones for some reason. I need to make the chat larger. Let me just move my camera again, because I've got such a stupid thing to try and uh, increase the height of the... Uh... There we go. I'm literally just using a box to raise my camera. Very good. And it's literally right in the way of the computer, so I can't see anything. But that doesn't matter, because I've got packs to look at. Let's get it on. Let's do it, team. Alright, what are we thinking, guys, before we uh, before we start opening? What are we thinking? And if we keep saying we're champs, I'm just going to leave. So <laughs> I'm going to open them all to myself. <laughs> How many full-up wicks do you need for a Talonflame break deck? Jesus Christ. Are these the questions we need to ask? Ooh, 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 the, the hype. It's a hollow code. Oh boy. Okay. It's a good start. Wimpod, my guy. Togedemaru, Krogunk. Got reverse Simi Sage, so I think we've already got everything we need from this box. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, first pack. Whoa! Oh, you're going to be ahead. This is going to be horrible. <laughs> It's the one I said I really wow. wanted. <laughs> That's wow. so cool. Yes, boys. Okay. That just happened. Nice. That's one you might actually play. It's one I might play. It's one I might grade. Actually, it's off-center. Okay, it's one I might play. Oh, nice. boy. 
the stretcher. The stretcher's here. Instantly. Hmm. Let's try and get it on screen without being in the way of my stuff. My. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, let's do that. Okay, that works. That works like a dream. Okay, so we're going to do reverses, codes. Uh, oh, I still got the rest of the pack. Energy will go somewhere. And we'll get trainers going on as well. Got ourselves a little po town going on. Alright, that works. That works. Actually, I might take some of this stuff off cam because it's uh, not too Irrelevant. important. Okay. Alright, pack number two. Well played. Joe's luck applies to packs. I certainly hope so. I've opened enough in my time. Got a uh, non hollow code. Maybe I shouldn't reveal the code because that's yeah, that's that's sad. That's part of the part of the thing. It's my stupid seizure camera, so I hope you guys can bear with me. Got self slow king. I actually love the artwork of this set. I think so. I like the artwork in this set. Yeah, it's been a while since I've really liked the artwork of a set. Chameleon ride on. Slow king's a beast, man. Love him. Okay. Hold on, I need to make sure I'm not revealing. Okay. Good, good. I can open the packs in the right way without showing off the code. Perfect. More lull hype. More lull. Persian. Metapod, Dusclops, Noctowl. All that stuff. Right, these packs are actually making me claustrophobic. Get out of the way, box. I'll deal with you later. <laughs> right, get over there. Give me some space. Oh, Razark's in here. Hello. How's it going, Razark? It's been a while. You doing? Oh, there's a follow. It's Greninja Gaming something. I need to move the follow thing to the top. Where? Oh, don't worry. I'll see if I can. Oh, right, yeah. Greninja. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Greninja, Greninja Gaming something. I do see that one. Right, I've moved the alert box to the top of everything else, so thanks so much for following, and uh, we've made the change now, so feel free to follow us if you haven't yet, and uh, get a little shout out. Get a shout out. Porygon, reverse, got cheeky, Scolopede, Energy, Whirlipede, Simisage, uh, Simi Weakness Policy, didn't even realise that was in the set. <clears throat> Does that matter? It keeps it in format, post rotation, right? That's what it does. It's a primal clash. Which is that? Weakness policy. Free oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It keeps it in format is the only thing. Hey, Devin Cameron is now following. Thanks so much, Devin. That's awesome. Uh, Welcome, Jack, as well. Tangler. Saying he didn't get things, he didn't get a. Toxic Croak. Rope reprint. That's nice. Soul Rock. Okay, horsey. For some reason, I've seen a lot of people talking about Kingdra, but just honestly, just give up. It's not worth your time. Mm -hmm. Reverse Sloking. Bruxish. A lot of Kingdra chat, indeed. Kiawe. This has been a controversial card all day for me. My phone's been buzzing ever since I did a <laughs> uh, poll about it today on Facebook. A lot of mixed opinions. I stand by mine. Okay. Cute to fly. Panzer carp, rotata, wind pod, stuffle, and a turtonator. Got cheeky charmeleon, porygon, simiser. Nothing too good since the stretcher. That's been the main the main hype so far. Plenty of packs to go. You love my Neuvern, but hate my Guardi. That's fair enough. Um, I'm actually changing my Guardi list, so I think before Worlds I'll update it, to be honest. Uh, I think on the stream on Wednesday I'll be testing a lot of Guardi. So you'll see my updated list. I've actually made myself a few changes. Ooh, speaking of Neuvern, here he is. Du, 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 du. 
First GX of the box. Oh, is it a sign? Oh. Is it a sign? Who knows? Who knows? This guy played right into Noble Sack. What a fool. What a fool. First GX of the box. What a beast. Not oh. a bad one as well. Could definitely be worse. Got ourselves Wish Baton, Ace of Roller. Update it with B8 with bait. <laughs> no, I won't update it with bait. It will be a much, well, maybe a better list. I don't know. I've definitely played around with it a bit and want to make changes based off of that. I missed out on Rattata there. Dupiter. Ooh, it's another GX. It's another really cool one that I'm happy to get. This guy. Jack's going to be profiling a video on this guy pretty soon. Ooh, oh yeah. Oh yes. I'm a little oh, bit behind, so I can yes. hear you. I can hear you open them, but I can't hear. Yeah, that's why I didn't say what it was straight away. I want you to be yeah. surprised as well. <laughs> Psych energy, Curlia, nice Ribombi. That's only non-common. Interesting, Guzma. I would have thought Ribombi. Ribombi is normally one of like the trash rares, so it was a rare that you're not happy to see. But Ribombi's only an uncommon. That's really interesting. Yeah. I was fish. I thought it was a hollow for some reason. Yeah, I thought it was a rare. It feels like a card that they make rare a lot of the time. Mm. Okay, Pikachu. One of the best Pikachu arts I actually think we've ever had, to be honest. It is a cool it's art. Action pose, yeah. Pika. Noibat, Dupida, Tangela, Rhyhorn, Scolopede, Reverse. Oh boy, it's going to be something. Ooh, Salazzle GX. Not the best. Not the best. We'll take it. Something I can get creative with, I guess. Probably not for worlds, because I don't have time, but maybe post rotation we can uh, make something work with him. Definitely has potent late game potential. Mm. Right, let's install my new microphone whilst we're here. I don't know the pull rates. Does anyone know the pull rates for GXs? I think it's like around five or six, but. I've seen really varied ones again. Oh, uh, okay. Rebombi Reverse, Lycanroc. Why is this a hollow man? What a troll. Actually, it does look pretty cool. Good for given, Lycanroc. <laughs> Got stuff Lana. Can't be forgotten. To... Well, we didn't think it was in the set, so we didn't actually talk about it. But fortunately, it's not too impactful while we still have uh, Rough Seas around. But it is some um, support for. Water Even more water support, yeah. Stuffle! Ross will be happy. Oh god, I keep missing out a card. It's only a bloody Pampor, innit? Charmander. Oh god, got the meme. The thing that I just absolutely have no time for. God damn it. Rusty Gam is now following. Thanks so much. Welcome. Oh, they're the Kingdra yet. <laughs> I knew, like, when you said it, I was like, oh, that's probably a Kingdra. Though. Got no time for this card. Unless it's gradable. Because I think it is... Obviously, the artwork is cool. And I do like me a Kingdra. Playability-wise, however. Yeah. Playability-wise, it's in the bin. Rolts. Ooh, oh, reverse okay. Cosma. Nice. We'll take that. Raticate as well. Not a bad pack. Right. You're probably not going to be able to hear me for the next couple of minutes because I'm going to install this snowball. Oh, cool. Oh, does that mean you could record today, Jack? Are you available? Oh, he, he can't. We can't hear him because he's installing it, but. <laughs> Maybe. Ooh, reverse Kiawe. Again, nice one. Beware. Ross will be pleased. Got some Torment Spray. What a wasted card. So Viper is also just an uncommon. That's pretty cool.
by box two, we'll be skipping to the good stuff. Yeah, I think that's how we did it last time. Did a slow, a slow box and a fast box. Because by the second box, we've all seen a million hand paws and whatnot. Ooh, nice. Alone in nine tails. Just a uh, regular rare, no hollow. So this should be easy to attain for most people. I think this could be a new pyro archetype post rotation. And I still think it could be good even immediately. Po Town, Rotom Decks, Simi Paul. At least these monkeys are only on commons and they're not wasted rare slots. Okay. Best rare in the set, you think? The Alone of Ninetales? Yeah, that's pretty fair. Charmander, Maril, Pansy, Jesper, Crabrawler. Ourselves a Raquinid. People kind of went crazy on this card's text, but it's really a bad card. <laughs> Psychic Energy, Noctowl, Simipore, Buffalon. Xavier Thompson, 33. Thanks so much for following. That is awesome. Okay, we have the Brawler. Okay, Lediba, Caspi, Sandigast. Oddish Reverse, nice, take that. It's an upgrade of Oddish. Uh, Mudsdale as well, just a regular rare, not a hollow. Cool. I would have thought that's a hollow because the previous one was a hollow. Oh, we've got some glare. Scoop up, there it is. Cedra. <clears throat> is the snowball working? It's working, Jack. Boy. There we go. You don't need to like sit real close to it either. You can just sit normally and it picks yeah, it up quite well. Real, it's like pretty far away at the moment. But nice. Awesome. Yes, I probably can record today, by the way. Literally, as soon as I was like, yeah, I can't talk, Joe. And you're like, okay, Jack, Jack I've got some questions. <laughs> <laughs> Carlo Felizo, thanks so much for following. Cheers. Reverse Potown. Crabominable, one I want to try out. Maybe I'll have time before Worlds to give a, give it a few games. Who knows? That's not the prioritising I would be doing. <laughs> I'm perfectly honest. <laughs> Super skill up. Oh, yes. Okay. Right. Cool. On. Sandy Arst. Hoot hoot. Tangler. Dupida. It's a grass Dupida. If that matters. Oh, I forgot this guy as well. This is actually quite a fun one. Something like it just seems like one of these cards that you keep in the back page of your binder just in case. Um, pretty cool card. Really like unique card. Uh, Fire energy, curlier, eat more weakness policy. So, still have a huge chunk of packs left. Three GXs so far, and only one, uh, well, one golden trainer. One extra shiny one. Super, super shiny. Well, Pix, Horsey, Noibat, Grime, Riolu, Vicario Reverse, and uh, Shinotic. Grass Energy. Mounts Lanakila. Man, I think that's the worst pack we've had so far. Like, even the commons and uncommons are terrible. These are junk, junk. We have a. That's actually like a playable card. We have a better one of these. This is junk. We have a better one of these. So. Pack filler pack. Like, the entire pack. <laughs> the entire pack was just pack filler cards. Useless. Right. Wait, do we have a better. A load of more? Uh, alone Grimer? What does the other one do? No, I said I said that was actually the good oh. one. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, I think that's the only good card I saw in there. Tangro. Sure. The Dumbbells, the Sophocles. For some reason, people have been talking about playing Sophocles in decks. Don't understand why. It's only a plus two. Ugh. <laughs> I mean, I know we're thin on the ground for discard mechanics, but geez. It's got to be a pretty sad day to start playing Sophocles in decks. Mm. What do you guys do with bulk? Uh, I collect, so I take one of each card out for collection. Um, 
But then, yeah, I sell bulk a lot of the time. And if we are more curliers, I should be able to have a place out of pretty much everything what? after two boxes. What card is that? Is that a Persimian? Yeah, that rare? Persimian rare. Oh. Cool. He's fighting a Lucario in the picture. Awesome. <laughs> Charmeleon reverse. Ledian. See, it's like artwork like this. Like, it's a card that I would really just not appreciate, but because it actually looks good, hopefully the camera focuses. Oh my god, it's got so much worse. Okay, let's try that again. Yeah, there we go. It's a card that you like wouldn't appreciate unless you actually like see the artwork. Like, it's a card that I skip over when you read it on Poker Beach because I'm not looking at artwork on Poker Beach. Yeah. But then when you see it in the flesh, it's like, yeah, Ledian. You deserve, you deserve more respect. Some people want to play soft case and expanded with eggs. No point, no point. And expanded, we have even better supporters. So it's even harder to try and fit in a soft case. <laughs> why would, if it doesn't work in standard, why would it ever work in expanded? Even though there is the combo with eggs to make it a free draw four. Draw four is terrible. Terrible in the game. When you can chorus for ten in like most games, why would you ever I don't know. How many boxes? Two boxes today. Hopefully we get ourselves uh, some more nice GXs. There's the Weavile. This is a card of contention. It feels like a card that if someone puts the time into, they could really make a devastating deck around it. It's just, again, I only realized just how close Worlds is, and I, like, sort of got into panic mode, because I've only just been, like, casually testing. So I'm really going to have to grind PC PCGO hard for the next, like, two weeks. And I also need to get a sh ton of content out. So, mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to be busy. Don't even have time to like play Hearthstone when it comes out, which is the sad thing. Because I've been so hyped around that. Reverse Raticate's a cool one. Lycan Rock. This is a cool card actually. Looks pretty cool. Didn't realise Raticate was a rare. Yeah. Unfortunate. Oh, that Lycan Rock's so boring, but it looks so cool. Yeah. The attacks have no flavour to them at all, but the artwork is like 2 for 30, there. 3 for 90 or something? 3 for 100, 2 for, 2 100. for 30, yeah. Hoot hoot. Ooh, another Salazzle. This time it's a full art. Gross. Don't Man. have a full art of Salazzle at all. Mmm. Very good. Very good. Ugh. Looks like it's a grader. Oh, this is off center as well. I think my whole box is slightly off center. Not going to bore people with trying to show it off. <laughs> but yeah, take my word for it, it's off center, and that's annoying when the only thing I saw it for was a gradable. Mm. Oh well. What day does Worlds start? Well, I start day one Worlds on the Friday. So it's Friday the 18th, I want to say. Maybe 19th. Oh, it's another trash holiday. Friday the 18th, yeah. Looks cool, though. Like, this again, this might be a gradable. People, Gyarados. People have a thing for Gyarados. This one actually doesn't look off-center. This one looks good. This is actually like zero edge wear at all. This could be a 10. Gyarados is cool. We'll take him. Don't try and test him, guys. He's bad. Overwatch Garbage is now following. Thanks so much. I have a feeling that's like Ben Pollock. <laughs> Just because it's Overwatch. Maybe it is. Let me know if it is. Joe has one world's day. Sadness. How's it going, Mark? 
there's always the Anaheim Open. <laughs> Mud Bray, Tynamo, Azumarill. We got Po Town, Dust Mops, all that jazz. How many packs are we looking at? Um, Seven remaining. Seven remaining from this box. Only three, no, sorry, four Jetses so far. And of course the Stretcher. So hopefully one more really good card. Maybe a rainbow would be awesome. And then maybe a couple more. I think one GX and one rainbow would be the dream. That would... Yeah. Reverse wind pod is nice. Oops, completely went past my rare. But it's just a regular Heracross. For some reason that guy's a rare. Wick. Wob Cedra. <clears throat> Mark, you're streaming in 20 minutes. That's pretty good timing, actually. I'll probably be wrapped up by then, more or less. Not treading on each other's shoes. Oh, that is a nice card. That, my friends, is a nice card. Accurate Sun and Moon free set review incoming. Mago XIIVII, -I -I. thanks so much for following. Nice card. Um, yeah, that's good. Looks gradable. Oh, it might have a it might have a spec on it. Ah, it means I could play it though. <laughs> Every cloud has a silver lining. Okay, grass energy synthesis. I could grade that and be a nine, like guaranteed, but I don't think it's worth. Oh, I guess I didn't see it. That's a nice. A I'm pretty sure our set review was very accurate. I think we did well. I think Necrozma may, may be the card we undervalued more than anything else. I haven't pulled a Necrozma today. It's kind of a one-off that I would like to get just to start testing. Okay, Brawler, more little Sandy Ghost. Dasa649 is now following, thanks so much. Oh, it's the Reverse Vileplume. Again, it's a contentious card. Oh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's that boy. Nice. Good ending to this box Ooh. for sure. There he is. There he is. There he is. But it's a full art. So first of all, I have to go into a clear sleeve to see if I can grade it. Looks a little bit off-center. It doesn't look... Uh, yeah, it is off-center. Top to bottom, it's off-center a little bit. Um, so maybe I've got to play with this guy. Who knows? Fine, I guess I'll just play with it. What a letdown, having to play with cards that are really good. <laughs> How's it going, Oh, no. No. My pile fell down. <laughs> Matty, thanks so much for following. Okay, let's do some reorganizing. Okay, we're only a couple of packs left. We can carry on. What's going on here? What's the Toxic Rack doing in here? Okay, we're almost there, boys. 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There's always 12 per box. 12 holographic cards per box. So, Hello? there's potential for another GX, who knows? It could be just a regular holo though. Let's have a look. Meow stick. And, ooh, that is, that's our last holo then. It's kind of hard to see that it's holo, but it is. Oh, it actually shows up on, on the camera quite a lot. This one's showing up for me. Probably a card you won't play. Because there's just better non-EXs out there, but not the worst card in the world. Very energy. Weakness policy, Porygon. Okay, 
two more packs to go. Milk tank is surprisingly good. Man, that milk tank looks so good. You know when I was hyping um, Blissey for its heal ability? <laughs> like, that milk tank is actually good. <laughs> what, does, what does it do? I've got no idea. When it... <sighs> this is an unexpected twist. <laughs> <laughs> Two, four, oh. six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh my god! That's a thirteenth in a box. That's crazy, and it and it's really insane. Whoa! I don't think I don't know where the secrets count towards the. Yeah, maybe player, it's right? maybe that's what it is. Maybe the rescue stretch is just a pro pull. Three six GXs. This box. Nice box for sure. And that's one of our four guardies. Sadly, no Machamp. Okay, last pack. Who knows? Could be even more in here. My plan was out the window. Start off with a cheeky cuter fly. I can't remember what we were talking about. We were talking about something. Oh, yeah, the mill tank. When you attach to the active. No, when it's active, when you attach an energy from hand, you heal 90 from the Pokemon you attach to. And it's a basic. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's decent. Can get on board. Like, if you're playing fairy gardens in Guardi, you can just have one fairy attached to your mill tank, and then between turns or whatever, you could Gosmer into mill tank, then do your secret springing to completely heal, then retreat via the stadium back into it. Sounds pretty good to me. Right, really bloody good box that is. Bloody good box. Definitely. I love getting the half arts as well because I always play with half arts. I'm a min rarity man, so getting the half arts look a lot better. are just brilliant. Cody Kane, twenty three. Thanks so much for following. Why are you doing this while I'm at DMD? Right, let's get these out of the way um, for now, and we'll. Move on to our next box. No time to waste. Mark streaming in 20 minutes. <laughs> okay. Come on. Out of the way. Stuff. Didn't have to use any of my top loaders. Because I didn't pull a Charizard. Oh my god. This gives everything plus two plus two. Is it a new card? No. I just. It's just a card I've never used before. Oh. Arena hype. Yeah. Okay, box number two. Let's go. How many boxes left? Just the one. Oh, Mark, you're gonna wait for this to finish. I mean, it'll be s similar. Yeah, Cody, ask away, mate. Mana Druid spell. Wait, is the new card? Oh, I haven't no. seen new card. New card? Hello? Oh, I think Mark's just. Ah. Meaning. What's a 7 Mana Druid spell that you've never used before? I guess it's Wisps of the Old, old Gods or something. <laughs> Alright, let's do all this again. Got ourselves a Cedra. Got ourselves a Scolopede. So that was an energy. We got ourselves some trainers. Five O boys. Well, four O. Yeah, but it counts as five O, so <laughs> I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. Am I giving out codes? Unfortunately, I need to grind worlds, so I'm going to be selfish with my codes because I need to get a play set of Guardia as quickly as possible to actually get testing. They are expensive. Joe. I looked this morning, they are expensive. <laughs> are they like 20 plus packs, I would imagine? Ooh, uh, there we go. I think the lowest I saw was the lowest I saw was 15, but there was one and it was gone when I refreshed the page. Yeah. The next was like 18, 19. Nice card. Let's see if this box is off center or not. This looks better just from just from my 
I'll give you. Yeah, this looks really good. I'm going to grade this for sure. Let's get a, uh, a semi rigid. Oh, beautiful. That is going to the PSA workshop. Oh, God. I've done it poorly. Let's fix that. Yeah, nice. Cheeky little PSA 10 card. Nice. Feels good. Brill. Chuffed. Got myself a Zard. That would be... That's just one thing off the list. It wasn't a rainbow, but we'll take it. Hopefully at Worlds I'll be able to get some more boxes and pull some more Charizards. Ooh, nice. Reverse Ninetales. That'll be a good catch card. Someone will want that. Oh, really nice pack. Really nice quality. So that's... Double Ninetales. What's that? Three of my Ninetales on the way to making Pyro. Not bad at all. No, I'll take that. Torment Spray. Ooh, this is an interesting one. I mean, bear in mind it's a full art, so I'm going to try and get it graded before anything else, but... Based on conversations today... Could just rip it right here. <laughs> yeah, this is actually nice artwork. Oh, what do I... Be advised. I got my Charizard off screen. Let's get him back on screen. Kyo is pretty cool. We'll take him. Oh, do I take Tarim or Tyrion? What's your board? What's your curve? Uh, my curve is fine. Tyrion's probably decent here. Tyrion's so good in arena. But so is Tarim, to be fair. They're both really strong. It depends if your board position is good or not. Like, do they have That's big nice. minions on board or something? It's literally turn three. Oh, okay. I would... As long as you can fill your curve till six, i just take Tyrion. I think Tyrion, yeah, my curve is fine. Well, what are you up against, actually? You're up against a class of hard removal. No. Okay, take him. <laughs> <laughs> Churchy39 is now following. Thanks so much. A little cheeky NK. A little Turtonator. Fire energy. Selves. Some more trainer cards. How do you always get everything? <laughs> Why didn't you get that? What does that do for the tongue? Oh. Uh, oops, missed out Rioli. Zygarde Rev. Shinotic. Oh, I should be. I'll start uh, going quicker through these. We can just skip to rares now, I think. We don't need to see all the junk, right? Okay. A dark cry, hollow. Uh, Christian Gabrielle, fifty-six. Thanks so much for the follow. That is awesome. Let's get dark cry in a sleeve. Why not? Oops. Opening upside down. Not advisable. Okay, Meryl, Bruxish. Oh, my whole thing's upside down, that's why. I'm picking them up incorrectly. Ooh, it's something. It's something. Malamar, and it's a Tapu Fini. Cool. It feels like a GX that you want to pull one of. Exactly one of, and just be happy with it. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah, that's my one of. That's why I'm happy. Let's just not put another one in this box. Don't take my. Okay, good. Oh. Did you just get MC tech or something? 
Yeah, and <laughs> I've got a board up full of one ones and a sea giant, and I just saw it going wrong. <laughs> Didn't play around it. Didn't play yeah. around it. Duskull. That cool sloking again. Some dumbbells up in here. I've had good pulls. Been going well so far. We've got plenty more packs to go. Mm hmm. No Necrozma so far. No Necrozma. I mean, it's not a huge deal. It'll be easy no. enough to get him. And it, he... there's, only one, there's only one guardy. That's the. Yeah, that's the pain so far. If we get two, I think I'll be pretty happy. Two would be great, yeah. Two and two, two is, very good. is nice. Hell, if it's a rainbow. AP76935, that would be awesome. Uh, thanks so much for following. Butterfree. Meow stick. Gosma. <clears throat> is Joe complaining? No, I'm not complaining. Just saying, where there's packs, there's possibilities. Who knows what's in the box? Uh oh, we got something. Reverse Gyarados is a good start. This is going to be a nuts pack, I think. Ooh, oh nice. Second, uh, second one of these. Good card. Good card. Nice or nice. Very good. Get those pods going. Gonna be testing with that a lot this weekend, I think. Yeah, that'll be one of the decks we're testing this weekend in the flesh. Rosie Spring, thanks so much for following. Hmm, I was making this into a 10 10 doing Lichen Rock, Tangrowth. <laughs> Mark, mate, just make me open it and you'll get great luck. Oh, Ben, yeah, I got the Ace Roller. I'll go over um, what I got from both boxes after this one and you can see my total pulls. It is a beautiful card and uh, hopefully it'll make you actually play an entire tournament without dropping. Just because you get to do a deck search for that every single round. Yeah, so there's good news, guys. I might be able to get a, another box to open on stream. My kid 0810 is now following. Thanks so much. Um, it's currently in the works to get another box through some lovely sponsorship from CCG. Nothing's in stone yet, but uh, I've been asked for my home address, so that's something. <laughs> <laughs> That's something. Gosma. Six O boys. Is this is this a twelve? Is this a twelver? Just paladin things? Yeah, maybe. No legendaries and only one good four drop. And yet still we're here. What's your good drop? Only one concept. No true silver, no hammer of wrath, no blessing of kings. But just a really good aggro card. Do you have the uh, staggered on? Uh, I've got yeah, I've got one spike roof steed. No staggered on the uh, the um, three four that buffs that adapts your recruits. Oh no! Oh, he's pretty good in the arena. Do you have any um, vine cleavers? I've got one vine cleaver. I've got literally what. One lost in the jungle, one vine cleaver, and one stand against darkness. So at some point <laughs> in, the, in the day, I just throw recruits that but Yeah. Nice pulls. Yeah, it's been going well so far. You can see we've got uh, Charizard, Feeny, Glissopod, and Kiawe. So far as the big pulls from this box. And the other box has been very good as well. We'll go over that as well. Plays Paladin says my deck isn't great. <laughs> Paladin's actually rated like third or fourth as a class in Arena at the moment. But I completely disagree with that. I think it's so good. It's one of those things that um, every 
like content creator is like paladin's the best class so then every one and their dog picks paladin and because mm. everyone and their dog picks paladin it lowers the overall stats of paladin yeah but i think it would probably be the class that also goes like 12 or, or like 12 wins more than any other yeah i think so priest is also good. really good i really like like priest is always my arena class priest is priest is the only time i've ever gone 12 yeah i've done it with druid once but priest three times and mage mm. once druid really yeah i was... don't rate druid in arena at all <laughs> i literally went easy big because my first yeah, like okay. three things were all gaining mana cards and i was like okay seven costs and above please yeah paladin mage rogue yeah rogue's always a good one again i don't like i feel like rogue and druid are really combo centric classes and I just never get enough stuff with them. Rogue's always a hard one. You need to manage your health really weirdly. Yeah. Scrub Age one two three is now following. Thank you very much. Well done. But Ooh, yeah, no Paladin's nice. always my first pick in Marina if I can get it. Diancy. I've completely U-turned on Diancy. I think it's actually really, really bloody good in Guardi from Testa. Oh, wow. That's so cool. <laughs> well, nice. That, this? that worked Looks out like well. A... Yeah. Thought it was. That's, <laughs> that's another one. <laughs> good. Very good. Let's get those in some sleeves, I guess. This guy. <laughs> well, we're on our way to Guardies. Do I play Floatstone now? Yeah. I play Floats in Guardi now. Just to accommodate for Diancy. Zuma rule. The lists, I, like, a couple of people asked me about lists at Liverpool this weekend, and the list that I like, just try to jam it all together. I think you need to go either Diancy route or not and the list that we're trying to jam it all together were the ones that i thought were the weakest yeah so i haven't even shown jack this list yet but it's back to like a 4-3-4 guardy forget galade he ain't worth it um, whoa that's a statement three diancy and like two lele and you play like three float as well just so you try and get into sparkling wish as much as possible mm-hmm and that's messed around with a few item counts and such one of the things that is slightly worrying is i've lowered the choice band count quite drastically we don't play choice band anymore <laughs> well it's, it's one yeah so... that's, that's a pretty drastic lower um... <laughs> so um yeah it's lower for sure what four drop do i want to play here I've heard a post rotation guardy list. I mean, we'll do post rotation once this season's done. There's a lot of other people who are already doing post rotation stuff, but I feel like we need to accommodate for the here and now before anything else. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I've, I've I've got my eye on post rotation because I'm not going worlds. I'm kind of I've kind of got it in the back of my mind as well, so it will happen. Mizo Wolf, thanks so much for following. Uh, we got ourselves the full art Bulu. Bit of a shame, because I've actually got four tins that I'm opening this weekend. <laughs> but we'll take it. It's a, it's a full art, so... Haven't you actually got eight tins you're opening? Is it eight altogether? Or is it only four? It's seven, I think. I'm opening right. three Coco and four Bulu. Yeah. Coco, four Bulu. I need Pack to buy this galore. guy's luck. Oregon Z. I mean, it's really not that lucky. <laughs> I don't think. These are average box pulls, I would say. Masterman918. Thanks so much for following. Although my prize packs from... Uh... Oh, this is a hollow. I didn't know this was hollow. That's why we've not been seeing it much. 
Uh, what sleeve do I put it in? Do I put it in a playable sleeve? Sure. This might be a one of. I'll I'll keep it in the binder, I guess. You never know. Alongside my other ones. You'll pull three Machamps and that's it. Yeah, to be honest, we've had very good GX pulls so far. Like, Charizard's the only, like, bad one, but it's not even bad because it's a tradable or it's a collectible for me. Wobbuffet? Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Okay. It was bound to happen at some point. It's cool. Untouchable Dr. P is now following. Thanks so much. Machamp. The best GX. Cursed Joke is now following as well. Thanks so much. Dumbbells, Sophocles. Feels bad, man. Yeah, suddenly we're down to four packs remaining. We've been chugging through these. So far, five GXs and one full art. Uh, so maybe out of these five, we have two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. No, actually, we have ten because this is a reverse. So these next five packs should be pretty good, you would think. We'd hope for at least one more GX, maybe one regular hollow as well. Uh, maybe one uh, one full art in here. That would be that would be brill. Let's so see if we can do it. Shinotic reverse. Oh damn. <laughs> okay, so now we just have to hope for one rainbow. Or one full art. Because we got ourselves another one of these little beetles. Lycan what? Water energy. Acerola. Typing before um, the champ got pulled. Sork, Krogunk, Toxicroak. That's what we call a pre release pack. When you get the lower form and the evolution in the same pack. Thick Wick. <laughs> I mean, we've already got a trainer, but maybe. Maybe. Two packs remaining. Let's see. Oh, the Raichu. This is the first one of these. So this must be a hollow as well. Oh, Beetle. <sighs> Beetlemon. What have we got? Ah, oh. Shame. Not even a good hollow. So only two full arts in this box. Two, four, five, six. Yeah. It's actually not unreasonable. It's still a pretty good box. I can't complain. Can't complain. The double Diancy is like a freebie hollow as well, so I guess that's something. Kingdra for Worlds. Nah. Okay, last pack, guys. Got ourselves a Mudsdale Reverse and a Beware Rare. Oh boy. Alright, so that'll do. That'll do for the opening. Let's go over. Um, do a quick overview. So, I've got 72 codes that I've got to put in tonight. That's going to be fun. Um, we have a bunch of... Oh, Super Flame is now... F oh, SPE Flame, I should say, is now following. Thanks so much. Uh, right. We've got a whole heap of revs that I've got to sort out. Got a whole heap of rares that I also have to sort out. Got ourselves a bunch of items. Hopefully I can get play sets of like all the good items. Pretty sure we saw a handful of Gosmas, Acer Rollers and stuff. More energy. We're going to be sick and tired of these by the end of Sun and Moon, I can assure you. Nah, I love them. You'll be sick and tired of them, promise. Oh, there's a cheeky little Gosma. Oh, two. Broken. <laughs> okay, then let's get some other stuff out of the way. Let's get my... Commons on commons out of the way. Don't fall down, please. Okay, let's get these. 
Okay. Got ourselves the full arts. Zard. Got those. So. Two of these, two of these, two of these. We got a lot of duplicate hollows, which is a bit of a beetle when you're trying to collect, like me. But oh well. Uh, let's get these going. We didn't get any, uh, did we get any duplicate EX, uh, GX Pokemon? Don't think we did. Oh yeah, the Salazzle, I guess. The Glissapod. Glissapod, yeah. Okay. Ugh. Oh, don't fall down. Okay, cool. Alright. Here we go then. We got uh, the reverse and the regular Diancy. I count the reverse because it's like a really good card. That's really good for uh, Guardi for choose to play that for Worlds. The Vile Plume uh, might be played in a plumey style deck. Um, that's kind of okay. Got some meh hollows, the Zygarde, the Gyarados. Dust Noir's an interesting one for the binder. Duplicates of Darkrai, duplicates of Kingdra, which is throw them away. And duplicates of Lycanroc. So not great, just like actual hollows. I don't know what the good what the best regular hollow is in the set. I guess it is the Diancy. Yeah, I can't so. I can't think of a better hollow, but I don't know what's hollow and what's not. <laughs> so maybe there's something I'm missing. Maybe chat knows. But yeah. Uh, we got the Beetle, Machamp GX. We got the one of Feeny, which I'm actually happy with. It saves me like however much it would be to cost uh, to buy or trade one because this GX attack is bonkers. Don't forget how good this GX attack is because there'll be tons of tons of games that can be won and lost by ending your opponent to two and then just storming their one big threat to the deck, and then um, the next turn you can come in with like your Lapras and finish them off on like a Lele that they're left with, you know. Uh, one of my Glissapods. This is the half art one. The other one's somewhere, but good card, obviously. Emma Lover, thanks so much for following. Noivern, contentious card. Someone's going to make it work, and someone's going to go far for Worlds. That is my prediction. Someone will go far in Worlds with Noivern. Just won't be me. Marshadow, another interesting one. I think it's amazing post rotation when Hex goes. For now, it feels like it's only a one of, so I'm happy to pick it up. Salazzle, bit of a beetle, but we'll take it. Again, I've got a uh, full out one of this as well. Got the Guardi. That's one in the bag. Got to buy myself three more, which is a bit of a shame. But we'll take it. We'll take it. Um, Red Alone and Ninetales. Yeah, and Alone and Ninetales is just a regular rare. So we got like three of those today. So I'm pretty happy with those. Uh, the full art of Tapu Bulu. This is a bit of a shame. It's annoying that we have these sorts of things. Like... I know it's just like artwork going to waste if it only comes in Japan and not English, but it's kind of just feels like I'm happy with just a Tim Pro and a of Bulu because it's just a wasted slot, really. <laughs> um, Slazzle, again. There we go. Glissopod's a cool one. Uh, I actually quite like this artwork. This one is because there's enough going on with the actual Pokemon design itself, there's not too much just like sort of dead background. So it actually shows him off as a design pretty well. Mm -hmm. So that's a cool card. Got ourselves the Kiawe full art, which I won't be using. And the Acerella, which Ben will be probably stealing from me. Um, but yeah, I might use this at Worlds. Who knows? We'll see. I'm really a min rarity kind of guy, but this Acerella is cool. I can break the rules if I want to. Got ourselves the Gold Stretcher as well, which is awesome. Uh, again... Just need three more for my Persimian deck. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. And uh, we got the Zard as well. One Charizard. Only the half art, not the full art or the uh, rainbow. But that's one step towards a nice PSA graded Zard. Probably need a couple more. Who knows? Uh, maybe I'll be opening more packs of this. Or maybe I'll just try and buy singles of Charizard. The thing is for me, I hate buying singles because... As soon as I look at a card, I know if I could get like a 10 on it or a 9 for PSA grading, so I've done it so much now that I like opening my own cards because they just have such a higher chance of making 10s. 
if I want to guarantee a nine, I guess I could just buy some Charizards off people, but kind of want to get tens. This will get a ten. I would. I'd be amazed if this didn't get a ten because it's just really good condition. Um, and you literally saw me pull it from the booster into this, and it's not gonna go anywhere other than this sleeve. So, yeah, pretty cool. Need to get myself some more Zards. Would have loved a Rainbow. Would have loved more Guardies, but hey. We can work on it, and what's most important is I got 72 codes, so we can actually get testing the new set for Worlds, so... Yeah. <clears throat> All pretty good stuff. Uh, cheers, Jack, for popping in. No worries. And uh, cheers, everyone, for coming out here to watch some packs. I wish you all good fortune with yours, whenever you're getting around to open them. And uh, we'll be on PTCGO next Wednesday, testing for Worlds. I might do a few more sporadic streams, maybe not big, like, four-hour ones, but maybe I'll do a few days here and there of just testing um because i'll be on pdcgo anyway i may as well just stick the recorder on so keep an eye out for that we'll be putting it on our facebook um for when i stream if it's going to be just a random monday night or something who knows well i'm already doing it on monday but you know what i mean like late on a tuesday or late on a thursday i might squeeze in an hour or two to play so keep an eye out but for now that's going to be it for the stream thanks so much for stopping by and cheering me on for these pulls and just having a go at me for being jammy but there we are uh, see you soon guys. Cheers. Bye bye.